But so, I mean, what, I'm trying to say, what I'm trying to say is this, though. Like, we got to give it up, man, for, for, for Bud. Bud had a great night. And like I said, let me, let me guys ask, ask it. But Earl, okay. let me, Earl let nobody me, is taking that away from him that right, he had a great me, night. Me, yeah, yeah, let me, I think you are. <laughs> Hold up. Let In me a way, you are. Back. Hold on one second. Oh. What, what it sounds like to me is, and I have to agree with Terrell, what it sounds like to me is, because Crawford won, no one, including manager Marty, have the right to speak on observation, have the right to say, this is what I saw, this is what I heard, this is what I think. We are stripped of all independent thinking all because the man won. And you know her from a principle, life principle perspective, that makes absolutely no sense. Zero. Nobody, nobody can say, Manager Marty, you are a bud hater. Because he won, and you're speaking on the fact that he chose, voluntarily chose, to connect himself with a guy who is suspicious. Let me give you an example. When mm. David Benavidez was about to fight Caleb Plant, Victor Conti put out a tweet. I mentioned this on the channel back in February. He put out a tweet literally two months before the fight. And he said himself, Victor Conti, David Benavidez has Memo Heredia in his corner, in his Ooh. training camp okay. as the strength and conditioning coach. His name is Memo Heredia. Okay. He was one of the guys that was dealing steroids to athletes as well. Memo Heredia was in Juan Manuel Marquez's corner in the last Pacquiao fight where he knocked him out cold. Now, Victor Conti made a public statement, and he said, watch out for Memo Heredia and David Benavidez because there may not be body testing in this fight. That's what Victor Conti said. So what I'm saying is if Victor Conti can say that about a former, whether he's current, dealing steroids or not, I'm talking about Memo Heredia, I don't know, but let's say a former known steroid dealer, why can't we, as fans, do the same thing and put him under the same scrutiny that he put Memo under when he's a former or current or former performance-enhancing steroid dealer himself? Can I answer that? Oh, absolutely. Okay. I believe, you know, after you've been incarcerated and stuff like that, and, you know what I mean, he knows that his name is Smut out here. Like I said, he got locked up. I mean, he did what he did. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, me personally, it would be hard for me to deal with somebody, like I said, just because of the the social type of, you know, retribution that I get, but just associate with someone like that. You know what I mean? So I get what you're saying. But I would say, I would attest to this guy's been to jail. You know, they got, he knows who's in the game. So therefore, he's he's like a snitch or, or, or a federal agent or exposer. I don't know, whatever you want to call it, in that. So yeah, he's going to know who's in the game, point blank period. But now that he's been to jail and his, his face is out there, is he really going to risk it all again? Because, you know, everybody's going to be watching him now. But they're using him as a, liaison to you know find out about other other people so i think he's credible for that if nothing else but i would not want to have my name associated with him of course not or any of my boxes but you know but he does he does know the human body he does know the strengths and and and, and how to get the body right so you gotta take that in in in, in, in accordance as well so like i said he does have information on how to build a body so it's a i guess i said it's a Catch twenty two, slippery slope, whatever you want to call it, but it's it may right, be worth Herb. it. It's it, 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 Herb, it's worth it to some people. Herb, you said you wouldn't personally yourself, you wouldn't associate with a guy who has a shady past like that because it's suspicious. You just said that, right? Absolutely. So is that why you don't think Errol Spencer go over there with Victor Conti and Snack? 
Uh, you a Spence fan, right? Yeah, like I said, I don't think you should go over there because you know why. But but to answer your question, probably honestly, yeah. So why come my manager Marty can't say the same thing? But you insinuating it, you you, you put it down like it's like, come on, fam. Like you, okay, you, so you the okay, way you so the way you doing it is crazy though. Hey. The way hey, you're doing it is is Herb, clout chasing and Herb, you trying to Herb, you trying to you doing too much with it. Herb, because you just said you wouldn't even go over there. Are you clout chasing for saying that? Nah. So how am I clout chasing for saying the same thing you just said? Come on, bro. I just say the same thing. See, you, you twisted it around. You just said you think that he's suspicious and you wouldn't associate yourself. I with said him. I didn't say he was suspicious. I said for social credit, I would not want my name associated with that. He might be good at what he does. Obviously, he is good at what he does. People just don't care. You're, you might like ketchup on your fries. I might like tartar sauce. We eat them all. These guys just can't keep it all the way 100 when it comes to I kept to it 100. Right? How, how did I not keep it a buck? Because you wouldn't even go over there. You publicly. I didn't say I wouldn't go over there. I, I said, I said. I would, I would not go over there. Yeah, I, I did say I would not go over there, but I'm not saying I would not go over there because I'm going because of the, because of the, 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 the looks of it. The looks, exactly. you know what I mean? That's me. But he exactly. might be good at what he does. Obviously, he's good at what he does because so people and, and hold on, hold on, and he's obviously licensed and he's able to do work with the fighters with no retribution or no no problems or no. Come on now. So you got to let it go.